hello hello i am back with another video at the park before i go for my walk and run but today i want to talk about everyone is you pushed out and being accountable for your energy as above so below as within so without <laughs> This becomes a, uh, something that a lot of people in physical reality do, do not want to be accountable for. And I get it. I get it. The physical reality feels and seems so real. But once you have mastered, I feel like it's always like, well, for me, rather, it was a, a, a stepping process. You know, like you go into church, you come out and you into spirituality. When you get into spirituality, you learn about the universe, the laws of attraction and all, and once you realize the laws of attraction exist, then you stumble upon the law of assumption. And that's where, where I am in my journey. The law of assumption. <laughs> and, and for me, what that means is that my thoughts, whatever I assume things to be, so shall it be <laughs> and and with that knowing and that understanding you could tie it back to religion and realize that we should have that unwavering faith you know kind of like um you know how they talk about in the biblical text about having faith is is, is uh like a grain of, of mustard seed and so not that it should stay a little tiny size of a mustard seed but once you stumble on what faith is, it's supposed to be planted and deeply rooted in order for it to blossom into a full-blown tree. You know, like the tree that's standing by the water. It should not be moved. So basically, in the biblical text, like just for example, the 12 disciples, they are levels of consciousness when you look back over them. People, allegory texts, like different categories of people and where they are in their journey starting off with the atom or Adam all the way to the Christ conscious one all in between you gonna have different characters or stages of life of being and it's all you It's all about you the biblical text is a story about you and your becoming stage so along that journey you gonna have the doubters the doubting Thomases you know you you might get a little weary with with your faith and in, in, in sink in the water like Peter, you know. You might even gain prosperity like Job and end up going up and down, you know. So anyway, as pertaining to, to us in the physical reality right now, the law of uh, assumption is that everybody is you pushed out. So let's use this for example. Let's say for example, you want it. It's gonna take accountability now, but just hear me out for a second and maybe it can help you because you are creating through this law of assumption already. You just, sometimes we just create negative things through it. And the reason why the negative things got there is because you were thinking them, okay? So hear this out, hear this example out. So let's say for example, you want a, um, <laughs> that's the man that's always here I created that too let's um say for example you wanted a, a Lamborghini let's say you you just like a hourly employee you want a Lamborghini financially in the bank you don't have no money for no Lamborghini but that's just what you want you just desire it and you you just saying okay I'm gonna give me a Lamborghini you don't even have the right words just yet. You say, I'm going to give me a Lamborghini one day, which the one day part kind of pushes and delays your blessing. You just don't, you don't know that just yet. So that's what you say. I'm going to give me a Lamborghini one day. Now, you talk about this and you, you, you think at your place of your stage of being that that's the, your, your, um, now kind of faith you know you think you have perfected your now kind of faith just by saying you're gonna get you a Lamborghini one day <sighs> let's say you go to sleep at night and you play your little um, 
high frequency uh, meditation music and you, you feel like, okay, me saying that I'm going to get my Lamborghini one day plus my little music, me listening to these um, resonance frequencies and me, you know, dancing and trying to fix, you know, keep my frequency at a different, I mean, at a certain range of joy and happiness, just going to pop that Lamborghini in my driveway. And so you go out, <laughs> you go out with your friends and you just, you, you excited about it. So you tell them, you tell them, you know what, man, come get me a Lamborghini watch. You just watch. And your friend tells you, man or girl or whatever you are, you ain't get nothing. You don't have no money. You know them Lamborghinis high. <laughs> I bet you your next pay, my next paycheck that you don't get nothing by such and such a date, right? <laughs> now, if you're really paying, if you're really paying attention to this physical reality, if you're really caught up into this physical matrix, you, you'll say that maybe that wasn't a good friend or maybe that wasn't a positive friend you might not even want to be around this particular person because it, you probably get mad because you you wanted your lemon but if you're good with your frequency you just look at them as if you know they're trying to shake your faith right but here's something to pay attention to everyone is you pushed out <laughs> that friend that told you that uh that friend that had that doubt you know where that came from that came from that little bitty doubt that was in your subconscious mind. <laughs> you know why? Because everyone is you pushed out. And so if everyone is you pushed out, the universe is always showing you you. And what you're supposed to be doing here in this physical reality is mastering you. <laughs> this is why I tell people and myself that you gotta realize you are alone here. <laughs> you running the show here and when we get to that place in our journey become become accountable what other people are doing around us and see where it goes and focus on us focus on our inner man and our subconscious mind and clearing that trauma and clearing that doubt and having that unwavering faith of no matter what that physical reality say or show us we still have that imagination side of us we're still coming to the universe or to God so to speak or to our mind to our imagination to our thoughts as a little child using our imagination always and not paying attention to this physical when it comes to our Lamborghini when it comes to our relationships when it comes to our health when it comes to our well-being when it comes to whatever it is that we are wanting <laughs> that's when we're getting somewhere I'm not going to be here long. I just wanted to share with you all the lost assumption. You could you could take it today. Or you could wait five years to take it and, and, and begin to practice and understand that you are creating with this law everything around you. Or you could do it. Toss it away. It's all on you and where you are and when you're ready in your journey. But before I go, I'm not going to sit here. And you know, I do these videos because I feel so comfortable, like I'm talking to myself because I realize that I'm all that really exists. I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and say huh, that I perfected anything, but thought by thought I am perfecting everything in my physical reality. Let me tell you, a couple of days ago, let me tell you, I was out here, I, w I was running with uh, two other uh, frequent uh, joggers that come out here because I create that too just like this man that just passed a minute ago he he always come now I'm here at a odd time I don't come every day at the same time but strangely enough I always attract this one particular man and y'all probably heard him on the last video he was the man that had the music he was sitting on the bench at this same park and every time I ran y'all could hear um, his music playing well he just rode a bike past in the evenings i i um attract these other people but the other day i was running with these other um two uh white men and we were just talking and um really they were just talking and i was just really listening and just smiling and 
not being opinionated but one of them said hmm, you know I got pulled over by a um, police officer I don't understand why people want to be police officers nowadays you know he was rumbling off to me and the other man about his opinion of police officers and he said you know and he gave me a ticket he gave me a ticket and he had the audacity to ask me where I was going and I'm like this here go ahead and write me the ticket mister but don't you dare get in my personal business and ask me where I'm going and in so many words that's what he was telling me and the other man right but I'm just listening I'm like yeah I understand but you know how somebody when somebody talking to you you hear them but then your mind begins to go and start to create you know because that's that's our thoughts or feminine energy they give birth they give life to another thought or another thought another thought so i'm there present hear him talking but after he said that much i begin to have thoughts in my head and i was like wow i haven't had a ticket in a long time hmm a ticket He got pulled over. When was the last time I got pulled over? <laughs> and so, needless to say, I sat there and imagined that. And then, not long after that, like a day or so after that, I was on my way to a company function. Now, I'm black, just in case y'all can't see it in this little matrix. I'm a little black lady here. <laughs> the company function was at a plantation, you know, like. And so, I was going to this plantation a restaurant here in New Orleans where they were having a going away party for a one of my co-workers who I really 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 like but because it was a plantation I'm a black lady over here <laughs> on the ride there I was like I don't want to go here but I'm, I'm but I'm gonna go but I'm going to the plantation but I'm gonna go I'm, but I'm going to the plantation that's what I was thinking in my head but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go because I love her I love the girl I love her but I'm going to a plantation. So I'm driving to the plantation in an area that I'm not familiar with. And lo and behold, I take a turn on this highway and I'm just driving and I look in a rear view mirror and there he is, a police officer. I was speeding. That night, I was laying down. After, you know, I went to the plantation, it just, in my mind, you know, I didn't change my energy, but in my mind, because I'm, I know and I understand that this is all me. I'm creating, I'm running this thing. I'm creating my reality here. How did I get a ticket? And I'm puzzled about it. And I'm trying to find out how, what, I, how I got on ticket frequency <laughs> and I, I asked myself what, 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 what's going on and the man wrote the ticket I mean I've had situations where I didn't have my lights on because I was traveling and they just you know pulled me over to tell me hey turn your lights on and they let me go but this man wrote the ticket <laughs> He wrote the ticket and I was just dumbfounded so when I laid my head on the pillow it came to me that night because I had already been asking you know you never ask God a question that he or she doesn't know the answer to so I was asking him of subconscious mind how did we do this here and it came to me hey you remember when you was at the park 
and you sat there and you dwelled upon that and you was imagining that when that man was talking to you <laughs> that was you hmm. that was you pushed out creating that that was already in that head is what I'm saying here so I'm saying this not to beat yourself up I'm saying this so we could become aware you know how even with with, with, with alcohol alcoholic anonymous or whatever they call the little AA groups or whatever the first thing is 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 acceptance that okay I have a drinking issue so when we begin to accept the fact that wait wait hold up I'm creating this good and I'm creating this bad I'm creating these shitty relationships I'm creating these negative people, these, the fact that I can't get a job, I created that. Oh, the fact that I don't have no money right now in my pocket, do you mean to tell me I created that? When we get to that place in our journey, man, we have arrived, we have arrived because now we could become accountable of our thoughts and thought by thought by thought, we could fix those thoughts and we could get on the other side. The most dominant thought is going to win, baby. The most dominant thought going to win. It's going to win. It's going to win. So you could sit up there and you could talk about how much you want to get this Lamborghini or whatever. But the dominant thought is going to win. That's what your, your, your reality is going to be. Whatever that dominant thought is. So I wanted to share that with you all so we collectively can move to our dominant thought and let our dominant thought be that of ease, of well-being, of prosperity, of, of the freedom, of the joy, or, or whatever it is that we're looking for. Because we all just want something because we think we'll feel better when we get that thing. So whatever that feeling is of feeling better when you get that thing, <laughs> it should be on the way for all of us. If we begin to realize that everything is you pushed out, everyone is you pushed out, you're all that exists, you are the universe, having a human experience. Hmm. All right, so this explains why I get up out here and I say hello to the trees and the squirrels and the branches and the leaves. That's me too pushed out the stars and the moon that's me mm -hmm. these strangers they whether they white black asian they have white black and asian people that come out here indian people that's me that's me yeah the little in the matrix looking melanated looking little lady that's me because at the core of what we all are we all are energy frequency and vibration and we all are singing the same darn song that's me I'm about to go hang out with me, babe. Be blessed. This video was from my heart to yours. Goodbye, babe.